Fire Sabers has released their first unique lightsaber hilt design. It's a really simple and clean design in either silver or in black. I've been looking for a new set of sabers to use in my fight choreography training. So massive thanks to Fire Sabers for supporting the channel. And if you want to support the channel, you can do that by using code JEST at Firesabers.com for 5% off your order or by checking out the membership options below. Even the free YouTube buttons are appreciated around here. Whatever's club. So let's check out what comes in the box. Two. USB-C charging cable, two Fire Sabers lightsaber keychains, two Allen wrench toolkits, two Fire Sabers keychains, which look like they're big enough to fit a blade through there, and of course, two hollow base lit blades. Hold on a second. I think Fire Sabers actually cooked with these. And then you can hold your blade. Call them scabbard keychain. So it looks like they loaded my hilts with RGB base lit cores with the Xeno configurator. So it's cool because the button actually lights up the exact color of the blade. You almost turned off my computer again. You need to get down. Get down. Get down. You wanna fight? You wanna fight? Yeah, I'll fight you. I'll fight you. They loaded my hilts with the RGB base lit cores powered by the Xeno configurator, which is exactly what you want if you're like me and you plan on hitting things with these sabers. NeoPixel blades are cool and even pretty strong these days, but it's better to do stunts without the extra weight that comes in the form of expensive lights in the blade. The cool thing about this saber is it's built with the variable hilt component system in mind. If you're not familiar with VHC, it's a standardized threading system that a lot of saber dealers adhere to. Basically, it's a way to make sure that every piece of the saber, from the pommel to the emitter, is compatible with a huge variety of interchangeable parts. Vire doubles down on this concept with a pommel that effectively acts as a saber staff connection point. Just check out how nicely it fits with the VHC magnetic couplers from Saber Flux. Love that pop noise. So now I'm gonna get a few test swings with these and see how they feel. <laughs> A week with these sabers has given me enough opportunities to get these into other people's hands, not just my own. Matt, aka Legit Jedi, got some spins in during our practice sessions and said he liked how the hilts feel. And another friend reached out this week about wanting to learn choreography with me who also needed a loaner. After a session learning the basic strikes, he left excited saying he wanted a veil saber of his own. I think these other perspectives are important for my reviews to stay unbiased. My saber about stolen designs that you can see here is a perfect example of how transparently I plan to present my feelings on a saber that's sent to me. Just because I'm getting a free saber doesn't mean it's getting blessed by Jess. But the veil is a solid budget option and it's not just me saying. But I am saying use code Jess for 5% off your veil order or for anything else on If you've made it this far, please remember that all the YouTube buttons help my content thrive. So any clicks are good clicks and the most important one is the notification bell to be alerted to my new stuff. The second most important button is the membership option, but it's always free to subscribe if you want to see more weird in your feed. Another great way to support the channel is to use code Jess at firesabers.com next time you're in the market for a saber upgrade. I've vetted a ton of saber companies out there and Vire is one of the best options available when it comes to variable hilt compatible part selection as well as the best price available for pixel blades. Check out what they've got cooking at viresabers.com and remember to use code JEST for 5% off your order.